You know, I think when you have an African mom, you by force will learn. You will learn the language, you will learn how to cook, you will learn the culture. But from a dad passing that through, at least my dad always said that, no, let her learn Dutch. Your dad yeah. was Ghanaian? Yes. And your mom? Dutch. Dutch. So you're mixed race? Yes. 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 You're also mixed race? Same. Yes. Ghanaian and they're also mixed race. Well. <laughs> It's not easy being mixed race. It, it comes mm -hmm. with difficulty sometimes because at one part you don't belong to the white people and at one part you don't belong to the black people. Why is it like that? Well, in the Netherlands, when somebody asks me, like, oh, where are you from? I'll say, oh, I'm, the, I'm, I'm Dutch. I'm from Amsterdam. And they say, no, you're not. And I say, yeah, I'm Dutch. I, I was born in the Netherlands. No, but I mean, where are you really from? And then they'll start touching their skin, like, you know, where are you mm -hmm. from? The signs. Mm -hmm. And I say, well, I'm from the Netherlands. My dad is Ghanaian. So, oh, you're not really Dutch. Well, I'm born here, so I'm Dutch. So you always have to explain yourself, right? Well, when we came to Ghana, and people ask us, where are you from? We say, oh, I'm half Ghanaian, half Dutch, or, oh, I'm Ghanaian. They'll say, wow. And th there are no questions. There's just like, welcome. That's just the only acceptance. thing. Yeah. yeah. Wow, so you feel a sense of belonging in Ghana. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Make Africa home again. Africa, Africa home again, baby. Make Africa home again. Africa, Africa home again, baby. Africa home again. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Uh -huh. Hello. Hello. We're the Champong family. My name is Maika Jana Champong. My, My name is Sophie Alisa Champong. My name is Anna Champong. And I'm Kevin Isaac Champong. And we're the Champong family. We made videos about our move to Ghana. <laughs> Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana Baby. And today, I'm joined by one and only YouTube family in Ghana. Yes. yes. Hello. The Achampon family. Yes, we're here. You guys here. are everywhere. People are telling me that you cannot come to Accra without meeting the Achampon family. <laughs> oh. I was like, so what crime have I committed? Oh. I need to meet you before I leave. <laughs> you know, a so lot of nice people love you on the internet. Mm -hmm. You don't know that? We're getting a lot well, of love. love. Yeah, we yeah, it's coming love. now. Yeah. Why, why people love you guys so much? I mean, um, it's, it's me mainly because we are just who we are oh. and we and show I think everything it's a family thing yeah we're a family thing and, yeah. and we show everything how it is yeah wow yeah you're based in ghana right now yes, yes. but where were you before netherlands oh wow holland mm -hmm. yeah I, I you speak dutch yes. yes oh yeah i speak dutch oh sluggish vast i love it no no that is deutsch oh that's from deutsch. germany german, german. Yes. Oh. and then uh -huh. you have dutch oh, okay. holland so mm -hmm. it's different. The neighbors yeah. from each other. I'm yeah. sorry. Next time I'm gonna do better. Mm. You know? oh, no <laughs> worry. Are you guys from Ghana? Because the name of Champon is a Ghanaian it's name. It's a Ghanaian mm -hmm. name. Yeah. So my father's from Ghana and her father's from Ghana, yes. which makes us Ghanaian. Yeah. And, and your mom? Dutch. Dutch. And we were both born and raised in the Netherlands, yeah. like Sophie Jane as well. This <laughs> is gonna be an interesting story, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just sit here and Come gonna, I have baby. so many questions to ask you. Just okay. Sit here, sit here. You were born in Netherlands. Yes, mm -hmm. Amsterdam to be precise. Yeah. And what are you both of you doing in Ghana? <laughs> <laughs> looking for a better life. It's not only looking for a better life, but I mean living the better life. Educating our children about Ghana, uh, giving them an opportunity which we feel like this is something they gain an experience which is will have a big impact on their life. I hope they will thank us eventually for it yeah no, no i don't understand i don't understand what you're saying yeah. she's saying living a better life mm -hmm. looking for a peaceful life mm -hmm. and yeah. you are saying that giving the opportunity for the kids to know who they are or mm -hmm. something yeah yeah, yeah. 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 True. true know their heritage and yeah. all that are you trying to say you didn't get a chance to know where you're coming from or something well uh the way i've been brought up i didn't learn a lot about uh, my Ghanaian part uh, i have a Ghanaian father but he didn't explain me everything about traditions and those things mm. Uh, and I've been to Ghana before, period, twice, for a short period. Um, and I have a lot of friends who have gone multiple times, but for me it's not the same. So 
um, I haven't got all the education about Ghana and about the ways. And I felt like, and we felt like, it's time to do our part and to bring it to them or to bring them to here. Yeah. We wanted to pass that heritage because, you know, African heritage is very good and mm -hmm. very, their traditions, their culture is so rich. And we wanted to pass that through to our children, especially when she started asking, like, why am I brown? Mm -hmm. Who is mm -hmm. grandpa? Where am I coming from? Mm -hmm. Why am I not this looking the same like other kids? Then we let her know that she's African and she needs to be proud. But we weren't really brought up that way. So how can we how can we give that to her if we don't have that? That's why we decided to come and learn as a whole family. Exactly. This is interesting. Yeah. And how has the experience been like so far? <laughs> Wonderful. Ups Hearts, and downs, but ups beautiful. And, downs. and yeah, it, it's 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 been a a rough ride with a lot of eye openers. Yeah. Uh, but it's been very fun and yeah. edu educational. Um, yeah. Yeah. And also very nice to just come together as a family. You know, migrating to a different continent is quite difficult mm -hmm. because you leave your family, you leave your friends, you leave the people you know, wow. and then you only come with us four. So that made us like I think we connected better. Yeah. And I think maybe I can even say that Ghana saved our marriage. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, no, let, let's let's go there. Ghana saved your marriage. Yeah. <laughs> How? Well, you know, <laughs> when you're together for a long time, it, it, it gets tough sometimes, mm. you know. He's always working. I'm always home with the kids and he needs to work a lot. So he will come home late and then the kids were already in bed. I did everything. So sometimes I'm frustrated and then sometimes I take it out on him <laughs> or he takes it out on me. So, yeah. So which means you mm. were busy working mm -hmm. yeah. every day, every day, yeah. Yeah, which is normal. Well, no, nine to five yeah, and yeah. weekends you're free, but yeah, then... Yeah, but then still at that time we were building a house and doing a lot of construction and things and you arranged a lot of things. So basically you're an autopilot doing things and we won't have any time to so do things. So basically as you built your whole house in Netherlands mm -hmm. and you decided to leave all that behind and come to Ghana? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see, the way your mom and dad sacrificed for you, <laughs> they did that because of you. You know that? Uh, yes. You're living in Ghana as a family. Yeah. Your kids were not born in here. Yeah. What are the pros and cons living in Ghana mm -hmm. as a family like mm -hmm. this? Mm. Okay, for us, I think because they didn't speak the language when they came here, it was a bit difficult. Mm -hmm. They were only known to Dutch language. So when they came here, they struggled a bit at the beginning. But I think through school and friends and playing, they learned it in about... Three months. Would yeah, you say three, three months. months that you could speak English by that time? No, two months. Two yeah, months, even. yeah. <laughs> they were really fast. Yeah. The, like before, they couldn't speak any English, English no. Not, oh, not hi. Enough. How are you? Fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, it's the same. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> That's a plus. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, and, and um, I mean, coming here to Ghana. Of course, it's not always the same. Like kids used to play outside, and kids are playing outside here. You know, COVID now has changed that thing. Yeah. But still, things it's are still possible. It's, it's you just have to manage. Yeah. And but there are a lot of pros. Like the yeah. weather is one. Oh, For wow, instance, yeah. she she always doesn't like to wear socks and are wearing like these shirts underneath her shirt. She was always complaining that it doesn't nice, it doesn't nice, it's not that. But when you're here, you just wear whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they shower in the rain. <laughs> they'll be just outside when it's raining and they'll feel free. Mm -hmm. um, what else? They can swim whenever they want. I think the sun does something to you. I mean, when you're of color and you, you have sun 24 seven, it does something to you. It gives you a good vibe. Yeah. yeah good vibe. You, just, yeah. you just wake up. Uh -huh. Open the curtains and be like, wow, I'm going to enjoy smile. the day. You just yeah. smile because of the sun and, 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 and the heat. It's, it's amazing. It makes you happy. And, and it also makes you happy because in Holland, it's raining every day, so you can't go and swim somewhere. But yeah. in Ghana, you can. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. And uh, how is your experience in Ghana? You didn't tell me. Do you enjoy living in Ghana? Yes. Yes, you have so many friends in here. How many friends do you have in Ghana? I don't know. 
You don't know. I have too much friends. Too much friends? <laughs> what are your friends? I can't even count them. <laughs> wow, you can't count your Ghanaian friends? Yes. Oh, okay, they, they teach you the tree? They don't teach you. Little bit. Little bit. <laughs> My mother teaches me. Oh. Wow. Mommy's teaching her a bit. You speak yeah. the tree language? No, no, I don't. But I have some basic words that I'm not trying to teach them. I think, you know, when we came, we should have told everybody that don't speak English to us, speak tree. But then the English is there. So whenever <laughs> we now tell people that, no, 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 speak tree, they don't. They just speak English to us. So that's something we really need to work on. We'll yeah. try now. I mean, when, whenever we go out and go on for shoppings or other errands. Yeah, yeah, I you try, try, you try, yeah. Um, you know, like, you guys are living in Ghana as a family, and yeah. I know there are so many people out there who are looking forward to bring their uh, family back here in Ghana. Yeah. yeah. If you should advise people like that, what will it be? It is really nice for kids to live here. Mm -hmm. It's really nice in general for anybody to live here. Like, I would say that in the Netherlands, you're, you're a bit confined to your home and nobody's really talking to you. But here, everybody is out and you talk, you go to the grocery store, you meet new people. Sure. It's, it's very nice. Wow, yeah. and the people love you? They do, they do, yeah. You know, she has uncountable friends, so yeah. she's, she's really enjoying Ghana. Yeah. She's enjoying, yeah. you know, the, the, the thing I love, uh -huh. I really love about Ghana, and I think it's all, all over Africa, but I've noticed it in Ghana really. People accept you as you are. Yeah. People are glad that you're here. Yeah. It's it's the love you get is so so refreshing, so mm. warm. Um, I can I can reckon, uh, recommend everybody to just come and 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 see and experience it because it's so nice and especially bringing your family here, having a small kid feel feel the warmth of yeah. other people, mm. embracing them and and feeling welcome. That's so. That's yeah. it's, it's beautiful. Oh, well, I I I just want to know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right now you're in Ghana. Yes. You're telling me you're living your best life. Yes. yes. Hey, how can you live your best <laughs> life in Ghana? Eh, nah? <laughs> what, what do you do? Uh, like, what do you do in Ghana in general? We saved for it to live here, but we do. We YouTube. now do YouTube. Yeah. YouTube is what we do. Yeah. We we create. We we start with a hobby, educating people and educating our family and friends. Wow. And and uh, I have seen your YouTube channel, mm -hmm. and I believe that you guys are doing an incredible job. Mm -hmm. you Thank know, you. You got like ten thousand subscribers. Yes. Now. Yeah. We gotta take it to the next level. Yeah. Of what course. Do you think? Come, tell them. <laughs> tell them. <laughs> you know what? Tell them that it's by force <laughs> to come and subscribe to their champion family. Tell them right now. It's by first. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know what we're going to do? They are sharing their experiences in Ghana, and I believe that we need to support people like this. I mean, their story can inspire so many out there. What are you waiting for? As I always do, it's by force. I'm not going to tell you, oh, please go and subscribe. No, we got to support our own. This is when Black Lives Matter comes in. When you start supporting each other, we're going to be stronger together. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to put the YouTube channel link in the description. It's by force. 10,000 subscribers. We're going to take them to 20,000. And after 20,000, if they want to go to 30,000, it's none of my business. Let's talk about cost of living, mm -hmm. living in Ghana as yes. a family. Yeah. Is it expensive or cheaper? Um, mm. It depends. It depends. Yeah. Yeah. That's a real difficult question. But I think um, the value of what you get here is way more. Oh, okay. But... Um, if, if you can leave your Western life behind and leave your Western mentalities behind, the cost of living is way cheaper here. Mm -hmm. But if you can't leave that behind and you still want to have that Western food, um, the Western things around you, like all imported, that's, that comes with that's a cost. Costly. Yeah. yeah, that's costly. Yeah. Wow. And it also depends on where you stay. Yeah. I mean, Accra is more expensive than Takradi. Yeah. Or Kumasi. Yeah. Oh, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> you all should go to Takradi instead of staying in Takradi. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, you know, like, I have so many questions, but I don't want this video to be long. Mm -hmm. But I just want both of you to share a message, you know, if you should advise the African diaspora who are looking forward to visit, live in Africa, mm -hmm. the final message to them. Mm -hmm. Well, so basically, come to Ghana, come explore, come and see what it can do for you, but mainly, Come and bring something, bring yourself here, bring value, add it, and try to build up this country in a way 
everybody benefits from it. Not only you, but everybody in your surroundings. That's my main message. When you're black, when your skin color has any type of blackness in it, you need to come to Africa. <laughs> Don't matter which country, but you just need to visit at least once. It will heal your soul. Oh, that's <laughs> a beautiful message. Yeah. And I just want to ask, is it worth it to live and invest in Africa? <laughs> <laughs> very much. Very, very much. Yeah, I've seen a lot of things around me. People just starting a very small business and that blew up. Mm -hmm. I mean, Africa is the future. Take the Afri risk. Africa is the future. Take the risk. But I would say that Africa is present. I will, what are you going to say? Say something before we go. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>